Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can get smooth movement like this inside of a Unity 2D pixel art based game. You can notice it's very low resolution. And the problem that this method is going to fix basically looks like this, where you get ridiculous jitter as the position tries to move between pixels on the screen and it looks very, very bad. But by clamping it to pixel units, we're able to get a smooth movement on the screen regardless of having a very low resolution for the game itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code here. So let's take a quick look at this method which we call on both the move vector and the old location as well. Um, basically clamping them both so that they're working with the same pixel units in a sense. And in order to do this, we need the vector that we want to clamp. And we also need the pixels per unit. So this is referring to the sprite. So whenever you import 2D sprites inside of Unity, um, there'll be this part in the inspector where it will say pixels per unit. And normally you set that to the pixels per unit that you are creating your sprite sheet at. So if you're, say, creating a 32 by 32 tile set, then it would be 32 pixels per unit, generally speaking. Anyway, whatever you set that value to should be passed in here as the argument. Now, a decent way of doing this would just be to get that value from the sprite render uh, as the game runs. So regardless of what sprite is actually being used, it will always use the value per unit of that sprite, which you set for each individual image as you're importing them into your Unity game. So anyway, this should be consistent with the image value. So then what we do is not all that complicated. We basically have to get it to an integer value, which represents the uh, value in terms of pixels. So the move vector or whatever vector you're clamping, it can be the location vector. The X and Y positions should be multiplied by the pixels per unit. So that's going to mean if you are trying to move one unit in game and your pixels per unit is 32, then this is going to make the X value 32, meaning 32 pixels. And by using mathf or math.round to integer, what you can do is you can drop off the trailing data. So if you were to convert it into 32 pixels, but then there was, say, 32.3 pixels, uh, you can't have that extra 0.3 pixel. That's part of what's causing that flickering effect. So you have to round it to the nearest integer, and you should definitely round it to the nearest one, not uh, floor it to the bottom, because if you do that, um, it may affect the actual movement speed of your character, but rounding to the nearest integer will get you the most consistent uh, move speed results. Um, so you do that for both the X and the Y, basically the X value times pixels per unit, round to an int, and then the same with the Y. And then we return it back into unity units. So whatever this value is in pixels, we need to convert it back into units. What you see on the transform, what you're actually adding to the velocity or to the position. So to do that, we just basically divide by pixels per unit. So this is gonna take this, let's say this was originally a, a vector of one, one, it gets turned into 32, 32, and then it gets reduced back to one, one. But if you had a input vector of say 1.01, then that extra 0.01 basically doesn't show up in the final result. So by doing this, um, all of your moves are going to be pixel perfect. They're going to correspond with the nearest pixel on screen, assuming that you are using uh, consistent pixels per unit across your screen. Now with a pixel perfect clamp, you should call it on two different things while you're adjusting the position. One is going to be the old location and the second is going to be the move vector itself. You should do these individually and then combine them in the final move. And by doing that, your move and then your old location will both be in a sense using those pixel units in order to figure out where it should be on the screen. And you'll get the consistency you're looking for. There won't be any more flicker. So by doing this, Unity won't have any confusion about where it should be drawing your sprite and it will draw every pixel in the right pixel area. So that's how you get your movement to look like this rather than this. So I hope that helps you if you are trying to get movement to look right inside of a 2D pixel game. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.